Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be showing you how to make cool force fields blocks like this. Like this animated stuff. As you can see here. So first things first, of course you gotta go into studio. But and once you're in studio, go put it apart and then just scale it wherever like how big you want it, like Let's just say we want, like, a floor like this, or Actually, no, that'd look pretty ugly, actually. And let's just say we want... Just, like... Just a pillar-like thing. As you can see right here. Okay, now, once you have that, you'd want to make the material force field. So you go down to force field, and it looks invisible, kinda, but it's, it's still there. So then, you got it. Imp import a special mesh, and then we just put in this. I would make it that, but we want it to be a file mesh. You can just change it as a file mesh right now, and then you know, but yeah, that's normal if it goes there. All right, we can scale it there. But um, if once we import the texture into the texture ID of the force field, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Since it would just automatically go to the file mesh and if we go back to head. Okay, and now look. If we we can just grab whichever force field texture we want. Like let's say we want this one. This looks okay. So we copy the asset ID by right clicking here and then copy asset ID. You put the texture and then you put it you paste it into texture ID and it automatically goes to file mesh. And there you go. But that's not all. I don't know what to do. So, you gotta go down to get the size when you have the part selected. Do control C to copy. And then you go to the scale. And then you can do control V. There you go. And that is how to make one of these. Oh gosh. That, that doesn't look that good. Let's just scale that up a bit. And yeah, that's basically how to do it. And also you can change the color, like if you want a golden color, you can do three, two, one. You can you do four, two, one. Never mind, that doesn't change anything. Gosh. Three, three, one. Wait, hold up. It's not me. Wait, never mind. Yeah, same color. And if you want, you can do one, three, three, for a nice cayenne color. And that's personally my favorite color. But you can also have different ones. Like, you can just put an uh, image. Let's just say potato. You can just grab a potato image. Which one looks the quellest? Um, let's say we want this potato copy asset id put in texture id and then it works the same but it doesn't look that good since but if you put we also make sure to anchor all of these by the way okay yeah and then if you it doesn't really look that good because it's it's also showing the back side of it too so to fix that problem you can just make a part like this Yeah, but if you don't want a background, I don't really know how to fix that. <laughs> but yeah, that is how to make force fields. Also, to save everything, you can just do file, you click on file, then publish to Roblox. And it should be nice. And that is basically how to do it, and it works with any image you want is like the best you can do like you can find like a swirl this copy asset id and then you can put paste that copy asset id into there and oh gosh yeah isn't yeah you gotta do the same trick but yeah if you want like a force field force field i recommend just looking up force field there's some good textures there that you can grab 
like this one. And you can just go to here, paste it into, and then, yeah. Look how clean that looks. Yeah. So that's basically how to do it. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on notifications, since it really helped me out a lot. And, yeah, I'll see you all later, and goodbye.